<laughs> Welcome to Wednesday. Thank you, Mrs. H. Another good one. How are you doing? Um, a couple of new products. Uh, one's brand new. Uh, one's years old, but you've never seen it in a video before. Uh, I've never used it. Unsure why, but uh, are we straight? Yeah, right, okay. So what are we using? I had a comment in the, well, in the comment section um, from someone asking, not seen you use the Gem Flip Top G-Bar for a while, which is a single-edged 1940s razor. And I thought, no, I haven't used it for a while, so I'll use it today. Uh, there it is. And simple flip top as it says and in there we've got a gem blade which I've just moved then I have to be careful with this there's some lugs well, I'll show you the blade there's the blade paint scraper some people call them um, now I do find with these older razors there we go that's how we should sit if you can see that um, these older razors these blades are solid more solid than the um, than these type the flexible blades so they well they give a bit more on your face but these don't they're solid rigid and even though these are kept solid in a razor obviously but they're much thinner and sort of thing so flip and we're there that's what it looks like uh, I've used it many times um, but it's nice to I always think of things 1940s you know using one of these it was it must have been you must have been with it you must have been the in thing then <laughs> so that's what we're using uh, a new shaving cream I've never used before didn't know it existed to be honest which is this stuff Wilkinson sword shaving cream And there it is. Wilkinson sword shaving cream. Came from Greece. This did. And came very quickly to be fair. And I put that in there. And we're using the Crown King porcelain lather bowl. I'm not going to have nothing in it. It's not, um, it's not cold. Um, brush of choice. It's one I've not used for a long time. And yet... Uh, I've I've had this ooh, how long have I had it? Many years now. It must be six, seven years maybe. Um well definitely six. Uh, is this thing. It's the Omega Pure Badger Brush. It was one of the first sort of decent badger brushes I bought. Because other times before that I just used to use an unbranded cheap thing. But uh, we'll see how it goes. So it's that's been soaking, and I've just shaken it out. So it's it's wet, but it's not dripping. I will need a lot more water with it. I'm more interested in the scent. It's going to be the same, I think, as the solid soap. Yeah. Hang on, that smells a bit nicer than the. It's the Wilkinson Sword scent. Uh, just bear with me. A bit shocked then. Isn't it? Anyway, how's your health? How's the week going? We're halfway through again. We're having some wet weather here in Wales. Uh, Well, in North Wales, anyway. Right, let's see. That's good enough. Peaked to perfection. There you go. Now, to be honest, it's definitely the Wilkinson Sword scent. You know, the hard soap, the blue or the black. But this, uh, that's nice. And I thought it might be something on the brush. It's um, so it's that scent, but it's a nicer scent if that makes sense. Have a sniff to that. Wow. 
That shocked me. Just rinse the face. I mean, it's nothing amazing, but it's not that standard hard soap scent. I never used to like it, but it grown on me. But this is, uh, as I say, the same scent, but it's slightly nicer. Well, never tried this before. Didn't know they sold it. Well, they don't sell it. They don't sell it around here. And I got it off eBay on one of my evening sort of uh, cold beer searching through and uh, oh another thing I've bought I haven't brought it in to show you damn is a full brand new bottle of Imperial leather aftershave not the same it's an old one by the looks of it. It's not the same uh, bottle as I got, you've seen, the one that's available in Australia, the Cousins one. Um, this is a smaller bottle. And actually, I'm thinking on it, it doesn't say Cousins on it, so I don't know who's made this. Unless it's the old British one. Could be, because it was from this country. It was posted. But you can never tell. Because my old Spice, the original Shultons, they came from the States originally. And uh, there was a lady selling them job lot in uh, on eBay. A husband or something must have passed away or something. I don't know. But, uh, I heat this uh, gem flip top G bar single single edge paint scraper blade <laughs> and um, 1940. So here we go. Does the job, but uh, definitely not as smooth as a. The. I'm going to be using uh, most likely Sunday. I'm going to try that spoiler blade, the second use. And we'll keep an eye on how many shaves I get out of that because I know. A few of you watching use them and swear by them. No wonder they're rare to get and expensive. So I'm very lucky to be able to try them. Here we go. So far so good. Wow, this is <laughs> shaving creams lately for me. Ooh, nice slickness. Nice slickness. As this isn't the most sort of uh, smoothest shave you'll have, because, you know, 1940s, well made. Um, and this shaving cream's doing a great job in protecting my skin. No pre shave, nothing. So I'm testing the soap as well. Uh, I know what this is like. Um, yeah, shaving creams, the Lear, uh, or Lee, fantastic, much better than I ever thought it'd be, you know, to think it's just a barber shop shaving cream. I know they've got to be good for them to use them, but... The way it worked, the scent was beautiful. And this is, uh, as I say, it's the Wilkinson Sword Soap scent, but it's slightly nicer. Does that make sense? It's like um, somebody's tweaked it and thought, yeah, make that a bit nicer than that. And it's, well, for my nose, it's nice, really nice, and nice and slick. Really careful under the nose. No overhang on these type. 
fully covered so you've only got to worry about the uh, main blade edge good audio feedback something on the These blades, these gems, I've probably used them twice at the most, and that's it. Um, you could use it more, obviously, but no, it's a. Yeah, it can help but think back to the 1940s, depending when, and uh, could have seen, if it was the early 40s, could have seen some war wartime action. That's a lovely first pass. Nice and clean, and I find the um, under the the force of the tap water keeps it nice and clean. The blade, um, I don't, you know, I know people swill it in water. Yeah. So that's the first pass. Still a bit to go yet. Still a bit to go. So we'll make it a bit. Bit of a wetter lather now. Just I've forgotten how soft this badger is. It's been sitting in the back back of the Slightly wetter. That's what the cream looks like. Um, have any of you seen or used this? Probably not sure when it's made. Oh, here we go. No glasses. Distributed in Pol. Oh, distributor for Poland. I didn't say distributed. Funny, it's not Germany. Oh yeah. Well, Wilkinson Sword, and the address, Solingen, Germany. So it doesn't say made. And there's aloe vera in it. Maybe that's what I can smell then. The aloe vera. Hello, vera. <laughs> Cross the growth. Using the gem, flip top, Chiba. Just getting as close to the to the old snout as I can. Aggression. Well, it's a non-adjustable, obviously, but yeah, it's a mid aggression. It can sometimes struggle on areas of thick growth. You know, like the chin is. If you've got close beard, it can. 
well I wouldn't say struggle but it's you gotta be careful but it's going through it no problem Across the old growth. Can you see this? I do. Apologise. Very nice. Pass number two, very nice again. Very slick, very nice. So yeah, the aloe vera I think the centers. So there you go, Wilkinson sword. Add some aloe vera to the hard soap. Good idea, nice scent, it really makes it, even though I've grown to like the the scent of the Wilkinson Sword Hard Soap. Um, aloe vera, very nice addition for scent. A bit more water again. The cream doesn't dissipate. Aerate. I'll run away. Oh, hey, we haven't had madam, have we? Oh, must be having a lion. Oh, she hasn't been paid a fee. Yeah, that's more like it. <laughs> right. How was your uh, Sunday? Mrs H did a run, um, 5k, 3.1 mile, and she did it. It was there was no clock up on the finish line, so she we timed it, but it was somewhere between 20 and 22 minutes. Um, did very well against the growth. Concentrate, Paul. Uh, the whole event raised £35,000 for the cancer. So that's fantastic. Nice and gentle. Nice and gentle. And welcome to anybody new to the channel. Um, as I said, I've just surpassed 13,000. I'll be doing that as well, a little giveaway video uh, in between the shaves. Uh, it's, I think it's... Uh, when did we pass it? Was it last week? The 13th? I can't remember. But, um, so thank you to everybody who subscribed 
it means a lot and thanks for watching them if you're new to the channel and you leave a comment I don't always get to answer everyone um, some weeks are better than others depends what I'm doing or you know that type of thing because I do work full-time this isn't my job even though that would be fantastic when they're just doing this sort of thing for a job but um, yeah I work full-time so this is a hobby it's a wonderful hobby now especially on god that's nice especially on youtube i love it love making the videos you meet nice people I find short, sort of short, quick strokes works for me. In the chin area. You can still nick though, you gotta be careful. You won't always feel it. Wonderful slickness. Here we go. They're a good razor, but personally, and again in shaving, you can only speak for yourself. It's not as efficient as a double-edged razor for me. And the reason I say that is because this bit here against the growth with a double-edged, with most of the double-edged razors or whatever blade I've got in it, I always start across, even though when I'm going against the growth, because I can't just go up. It's too tender for me. So I start across like that and I gradually twist and those that follow me will know what I mean. You've seen me do it a long time. But then, and that's normally it, I just turn up, up, up and it's done. But with this one, you have to, you may have to do it twice, you know, go over it again and I'll show you what I mean now. So I start off like that and gradually turn. Yeah, it's not so bad that size. But um, is it worth having one? It certainly is for what it is. The shape, it's unique. 1940s. Uh, could tell a few stories. And um, it does the job. Nice. No pain. Wow, aloe vera has made a big difference. If you have, if you've got um, aloe vera, if you can get, can you get aloe vera? Anyway, try it in the Wilkinson sword tub, if you can, mix it in. Or grate some from the Wilkinson sword, I might do it myself. Grate some, put some aloe vera in, and then press it, mix it and press it. Better make a difference. The scent anyway, the scent. Three, two, one, gem flip top. Pick up time, baby. 
I don't know what's happened to her today. Uh, perhaps her checks bounced. Fee, her fee. Oh, all right then for you, what? I won't be on work today, I've done me necking. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the madhouse. Hmm, couple of scrapes there. And, you know, if I ever find I'll miss a bit after the shave, you might do that and think, oh, it's just a dot there. I'll just get a D blade, a D razor. Well, and blade. Blade does help, doesn't it? And um, just sort it out. Right. Hmm. That'll do us, I think. So cold rinse and stay wet because I'm going to use the alum today. Oh, that's nice. Stay wet. Alum. Hello, alum. I, I know. Just humour me because. You only get to see her twice a week. Now I did think I'd have a bit of a sting here. Oh yeah, just a touch there, just a touch. So. That's nice. And then I'll cold rinse it off. Again, some people leave it on. Here we go. Uh, I was at this stage. I always feel like a million bucks, as you say in the States. <laughs> if you wanted to see a million bucks in this country, you'd have to go up to the highlands of Scotland, where the bucks will be rutting <laughs> certain times of the year. Right, there's the, there's the finished product. As I say, it never makes you good looking. Beal feel damn good. Very close shave, very nice. Okay. Right, how many of you good people remember this? Yardley Gold. That bring a memory back? <laughs> Not a lot, isn't it? Well, probably enough for me, but here we go, just spray it on. 
Oh, that brings memories back. <laughs> hey? Oh, it's nice. And the funny thing is, when when you could buy this, you know, and it was out and a thing to wear, and I wasn't keen on it. It was too oldy for me. It was like your dad or uncle's type. But maybe I've come to that age where I am sort of dad, uncle age. I don't know, yeah. But I like it, love it. And the fact it's many years old. Oh yeah, that's nice. Not gonna rub that one in. Rock face. Who has? I have. All weather, moisture, conquer the elements. And there's Snowden. No, it's not really Snowden. But uh, I like to think it is because I'm from here. No, put a bit more. There we go. Oh, that's a nice old centre. Uh, there we go. Nineteen eighties all over again. <laughs> you can put a bit more of that on because. So that is it. And the reason I haven't done the giveaway, um, 13,000 giveaway yet, is because I haven't decided what to give away. So just bear with. Oh, that's a nice scent. Yardley Gold. Splash Cologne Spray. Gorgeous. And that, ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, cats, dogs and parrots. Parrots, I don't know why. That is it, and that's the, uh, as I say, that's the end result. Nice clean shave. Gem. Flip Top G-Bar. 1940s single edge, non-adjustable razor. Um, Done the job nicely, really nice. The Omega Pure Badger Brush, one of the first, as I say, decent brushes I bought. Um, like a fan, though, isn't it? Um, really nice, soft. The Crown King Shaving Scuttle Porcelain. And this stuff, which I'm very surprised nicely, the Wilkinson Sword Shaving Cream. This came from Greece, I had it on eBay, just seen it there. And I had heard some people say in the comments, have you tried Wilkinson Sword Shaving Cream? I thought, no, I haven't tried that. Could have been available here many years ago, I don't know. But um, I've not seen it, so I bought it. And it came from Greece very quickly, may I add. Um, aloe vera in it gives it this wonderful scent, honestly. Um, then we rinsed off with water. We met up with Alan. Alan? Alan? <laughs> I'm trying to be funny and it's not alum. Then we rinsed that off. Then we used Yardley Gold. Lovely stuff. And then rock face to protect the the old rock face. And that's it. Lovely. Beautiful scent. Reminisce now of that. It takes me back. So many thanks again for watching. Have some great shaves. Stay in good health if you can. Stay happy. And I'll see you on Sunday for the weekend shave. Take care. All the best.